Hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole and in today's video we will be playing in some eyeshadows again. I was just inspired. I don't know what I was inspired by. I was just laying down in the bed with my boyfriend and I was like, I know what eyeshadow look I want to do. And this is what I thought of. Um, I did it yesterday, posted it on Snapchat, asked you guys if you guys wanted to see it. Nearly all of you said yes, except for like probably two people, whatevs. But majority wins, people. This is what I got. I redid the video today. It is not as perfected as I wanted it to be because the white eyeliner sucks. But, you know, I did my best. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias and enjoy. Alright, so as you guys can see, I started with my face halfway done. So all I really did was my foundation, concealer, setting the under eyes, and my face. I also did my brows off camera and I did one eye. Um, so now we're going to move on to the other eye. and We're going to do the same steps we did on this eye that I am feeling so much. Alright, so to prime the lids, I'm giving this thing right here another try. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Laying Low. Um, some people are saying that I'm not using it right, but I used it right, so I don't know what to tell you, but we're still gonna try it, we're gonna give it another try, well, I can't throw it out, so, yeah. But, um, I'm gonna use this Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder with my M511. I'm just gonna tap this all over the lid and then blend it out and I just got some on my face. So even though we are messing with color, I still like to put a transition down. I like to be safe when it comes to eyeshadows because eyeshadow looks can go left very quickly. So I'm going to use my Saddle Eyeshadow from MAC. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of it just to give myself a transition. For this eyeshadow look, I will be using my Smashbox Cover Shot Eye Palette, Bold Eye Palette. As you guys can see, I'm really loving it. First things first, I'm going to go in with my Luxie 229 brush. I'm going to go into this red shade. And we're not going to blend the whole crease. We're only blending the front area to the middle. So we're going to build it up slowly. But it's only going right in this socket right here. So I'm just going to pick up my R34 from work. So I'm going to pick up the blue shade, which of course is poolside, and I'm going to blend that from the outer corner into the center. And this color is a little more intense than the red, so please be careful, guys. Like I said, this eyeshadow look can go left really quickly, and this is where my eyeshadow look went left. So now um, that I have it like kind of blended, I'm just going to keep going back and forth between the two brushes and the two colors until it is blended together and looks seamless like this side. So now that we got it the way that we kind of need it, I'm going to go in with my crown brush C433 and I'm going to go into this purple shade right here which is No Shame and I'm going to pop this into my outer V making sure I'm blending it really really well into that blue. So just start out in the outer area and making sure I'm getting into that crease. What I do is I blend um, whatever's left on the brush into the center 
um, where the blue and the purple meet. So as you guys can see, the purple on my eye goes like that. So I'm going to leave this alone for a second. And again, guys, I'm just hopping around on the eye, just making sure everything is blended. So I'm going to go back in with the red and just make sure that's blended. And then I'm going to go in with the blue, make sure that's blended as well. And then again with the purple, just getting that outer V intense before I do my semi cut through. So now I feel like everything is blended and it's looking really good. So I'm going to go in with my um, laying low paint pot and I'm going to do my semi cut crease in hopes that they look even because both of my eyes are not the same. So it's so hard for me to get them even, but I'm going to do my best. It's down, I'm gonna go straight into my lid shade, which was Creme Brulee from um, Makeup Geek. That was my lid shade, and it's a pretty nude shade. I didn't wanna put something too bright like on the center of my lid, so I decided to go with a nude shade. So yeah. Um, I will be using my 103 brush from BH Cosmetics to apply this shade. So I pat my lid shade on, I'm just going to go back in with the purple and you know just finesse it and just blend so the nude and the purple seem like they belong together, like they were in a relationship for a long time. I don't, I don't know why I said that. so I'm using my NYX white liquid liner this thing cracks up so bad but I already put it down so it's nothing I can do so I'm going to use light fast strokes so that I don't mess up So I feel like one line is higher than the other. Now I'm going to apply my lashes. Now, don't be mad at me because I don't know where these lashes are from. I just know that I had them and I wore them. I took them out of the box and I put them in my lash holder. And it's been in my lash holder for a while. So, um, yeah. So on to the bottom lash line, I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil and this is an Orchid. I'm going to line my waterline with this. And I'm going to take my C433, I'm going to just, you know, drag the purple from the purple outer corner all the way underneath my waterline. Making sure I'm building the color up. So I'm going to take my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I'm going to apply this on my top and bottom lashes. 
For my inner corner highlight, I will be using this foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It's so pretty. And it is in the color Fortune Teller. So I apply some on this like tiny little brush. I don't even know what this brush is for, but I'm going to use it on this tiny little brush. I'm going to spray my primer water from Smashbox. Sorry, I don't want to wet anything up over here. And, you know, I let that sit on the brush a little and then I pat that right in the center first. And I bring it up to the front of the line and down to my lower lash. So we are good to go on the eyes. I feel like the eyes look perfect. So let's just finish up the face and then do a little speed through. And I will leave a link down below and the little thing will slide across the top of the screen showing you guys where um, a video where I do my full face routine. So to line my lips, I will be using the NYX Suede um, Matte Lip Liner, and this is in Downtown Beauty. For lipstick, I will be using the NYX Full Throttle um, Lipstick, and this is in 03, uh, Kiss the Dust. For a little lightening in the center, I will be using my um, Lena Lashes uh, Baby Matte Liquid Lipstick, which is discontinued, and this is in Mild Brown. I'll top it off with my uh, Marc Jacobs Enamored Gloss, and this is in Love Buzz. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias. If you guys are enjoying colorful looks from me and more creative looks, please give me a thumbs up. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.